Hey everyone, if you're following this channel, you would know that I have an IT background and I always say that future is digital. In the past also, I've identified many stocks from IT and tech sector that have generated great returns for the investors. Now time and again, I keep getting the request to discuss more of such digital stocks that can potentially generate multi-bagger returns. Especially the request is to cover stocks from artificial intelligence sector. So in today's video, I want to discuss one small cap Indian company that is working on cutting edge technologies like artificial intelligence. Interestingly, this company recently got listed at rupees 500 a few months ago and now already trading near levels of 1100. At current levels, it commands a market cap of around 6000 crore rupees. Can you guess the name? Well, I'm talking about Netweb Technologies a manufacturer of supercomputers and other high-end computing devices. If you recall, I covered this company in detail during its IPO a few months ago. And by the way, I am very very selective in doing IPO videos. I cover only a few IPOs where I find a lot of potential. And Netweb was one of them. The stock has now already doubled from its IPO price. In fact, in last one month, the stock has jumped around 38%. So in this video, we'll try to decode the reason for the sharp rally in network share price. More importantly, I'll share my point of view in terms of what I expect from this company in both near term as well as mid to long term. But before that, a disclaimer that this video is only for educational purpose. It is not a buy or sell call. Kindly do your own research before investing your money. Folks, before we discuss about NetWeb, Please let me clarify that since I have already done in-depth analysis on the company recently during its IPO, I don't want to discuss it again in detail. I'll briefly discuss about its business, but if you want to learn more about the business in detail, like your key strength, future prospect, key risk, etc., you must watch my previous video. Now recently on 28th November, I shared a news over X where I mentioned that the supercomputer manufacturer has announced partnership with Nvidia, looking very promising. Okay, first of all, let me tell you that I have become very, very active on X in last few months. I spend nearly 8 and hours per day tracking the key events in the market and doing my investment research. And I come across a lot of great ideas. Since it's not possible for me to cover them immediately in the video format, I try to share the news over X. So if you want to keep a close eye on the market and don't have enough time, I would highly recommend following me over X. Moreover, I also have a closed community of investors via my weekly video course where I share one exclusive video per week that include the key events in the economy and more importantly, my own investment strategy and my portfolio. So you can also explore that. In fact, I recently covered NetWeb in my weekly video series as well. Now coming back, the news was that NetWeb has collaborated with NVIDIA for artificial intelligence and to unlock the potential for high performance computing. It is now a manufacturing partner for NVIDIA Grace CPU Superchip and GS200 Grace Hopper Superchip MGX server designs. Now NVIDIA is a global leader in graphic and AI technology where it manufactured graphic process unit that is GPU that are used in high computing devices like your gaming, artificial intelligence, crypto mining and so on. So partnership with NVIDIA is a huge huge deal and that is a major trigger for sharp jump in NetWeb share price. After this announcement, NetWeb share price has already zoomed around 35%. The question is, is it still worth buying NetWeb? Well, before I come to that, let me quickly try to understand the business of NetWeb. So NetWeb technology is one of India's leading high-end computing solution provider since last 25 years. Basically, it builds products that are million times faster than a normal laptop or server computer. Please note that NetWeb is an OEM player in HCH solution. It means, NetWeb has its own set of products and services. Now if you look at the revenue breakup, in FR23, around 39% revenue of the company is from supercomputing, 33% from private cloud, then 7% from AI, HPS, data center each, 2% from software, and 5% from others. Now as far as future is concerned, future is all about internet of things, artificial intelligence, automation, 5G technology, virtual reality, artificial reality, and these technologies are built over high performance computing. Then another big trend is use of public and private cloud for data storage. Today, all major enterprises are moving towards public cloud as well as some organizations are moving for private cloud as well. And this trend would again require high computing devices. On top of this, one of the biggest growth driver for high performance computing is government support. 
Indian government has also launched many huge scale digital projects like Aadhaar, UPI, DigiLocker, GST and so on. Now you don't want that data to be stored out of your own country. That's where Indian government is doubling down on digital initiative to enable growth of data centers within country. The big push towards data localization is to ensure that 75% of the data remains within the country. Government has also announced PLI incentive for IT hardware as well as telecom hardware and NetWeb has already qualified for incentive under both IT hardware and telecom segment. In short, the future of NetWeb as high speed computing device manufacturer is looking very bright. Now the important question here is, share price of the company has already doubled from IPO levels in last few months and recently the share has jumped around 38%. Is it still worth buying the stock? Well, if you look at the valuation, at current level, NetWeb commands a market cap of around 6,000 crore, so it's a small cap company, but it commands a P ratio of 130. Now at first look, this P looks very expensive, isn't it? But look at the growth prospect of the company. If you look at the past data, its sales have grown from 130 crore to 445 crore, which is 3.5 times growth in sales in last four years. And its profits have zoomed from 3 crore to 47 crore. That's exponential growth in the past. In fact, I was going through their latest con call and found that management is extremely bullish. They've guided for a CGR growth of 30 to 40% in the next two to three years. Now 30 to 40% growth in the coming years is no joke. Moreover, management has guided for operating margin of 14 to 15%, which is again very, very good. So I'm not surprised that the share is growing after the latest announcement with M NVIDIA. A because company management has guided for very strong growth in the near future and B because NVIDIA partnership has opened up a whole new world of opportunity for the company. Clearly it looks like a futuristic company and hence it would command a premium. Now what is the right P you should pay for it? Well it's always debatable. What I did is I tried to calculate its future PE based on the guidance from management. Let me show you that. So what I've done is I have taken two cases. In case one, I have assumed 30% CAGR rate. And in second case, I have assumed 40% CAGR rate because management has guided for 30 to 40% CAGR. On margin, I have taken margins on slightly conservative side at 14% because management has given guidance of 14 to 15%. Okay, now if you look at FR23 revenue, it's 445 crore. And if we assume 30% CAGR, by FR26, revenues are estimated to be at 978 crore. And operating profit currently is 70 crore and it's expected to be around 137 crore. And then I've done certain calculation to subtract the depreciation and a few interest. So profit before tax would be 117 crore. And after subtracting the taxation, PAT is expected to be at around 88 crore by 30% CGR. Likewise, at 40%, revenue is expected to be around 1,221 crore. Operating profit is expected to be 171 crore. Profit before tax, 151, and PAT is expected to be 113 crore. So at 40% CGR rate, PAT is expected to grow 2.5 times in the next three years. And at 30%, it's expected to be almost doubled by uh, next two, three years. And if you look at uh, FR23 EPS, Basically, EPS is earning per share, calculate it by simple calculation, divide the total earning with total share. So, FR23 EPS is 8.4, current market price is around 1100 rupee. So, P ratio turns out to be around 131. Now, if you look at the 30% CGR, FR26 EPS is expected to be 15.6. Based on that, FR26 forward PE at current price is around 70.4. Likewise, FR26 EPS at 40% CGR would be 20.2 and based on that, company is currently trading at FR26 forward PE of 54.5. Now, is it cheap? The answer is no. It is certainly on expensive side. But the point being that the segment where company operates in is high growth segment. So let's say if after FR26, if company can continue to grow at let's say 20-30% CGR rate, I think these valuations are justified. Okay, so basically the point is that everything will boil down to the management execution based on the expectation they have set. Any negative deviation can result in correction in share price, but if the company growth is in line with management expectation, I think the share price is currently looking decent, not very, very expensive because company is projecting that kind of high growth. So overall, considering the bright growth prospects, it seems NetWeb is still looking attractive at current levels. Currently, the stock is in a strong uptrend and I don't see any major reason for sharp correction in the near term. 
yes if the company's growth is not as per the management guidance then there can be correction in the share price now in the near term if the stock is available below levels of 1000 rupees then it would be a stealer deal but for long term since it is still a small cap company i see a lot of potential both in medium to long term now i would let you decide whether you are comfortable buying it at current valuation or not i hope you will find this video useful now let me know what is your take on netweb and which company you want me to cover next i'll see you next video till then take care